Hello guys and gals of the internet, I'm the Silky House of YouTube and Twitch TV. Welcome, finally, to the finale of Life is Strange 2's playthrough. It has been a couple years in the making. We've had so many other uh, kind of things happen to us. But we're finally here. The playthrough has been long. But now we're about to see how it will end. Without further ado, let's jump in for the final time. I kind of probably got a thought that this might actually be the shortest of the uh, entire playthrough, uh, depending on what we're going to be doing. Of course, it's probably going to be a massive time skip, because that has always been the case for the start of the episode. There were two wolf brothers living in their home lair with their papa wolf. They lived in peace until hunters took their dad away. The Wolf Brothers wandered for days and nights, learning how to live on their own for the first time. That's when the Big Brother discovered that the Little One was not an ordinary wolf, but a super wolf. They decided to head south to the distant land of their ancestors. Ah, so they have changed it here. They have but finally the changed the intro. It was long and dangerous. Obviously because we've covered so much ground. Still. The Wolf Brothers made new friends on the way. They learned more about the world. But danger seemed to always follow them. I know, right? After a bad accident. They were separated. The Big Brother had been hurt, and the hunters finally captured him. Yeah. They put him in a cage. <laughs> but when he finally escaped, he went to search for his little brother. Yeah. He soon found out that the little wolf had joined a coyote cult and he would not leave them. Suddenly, their mother showed up after all that time. I know, right? She said she came to help rescue him. They begged the coyote leader, but she would not release the little wolf. He was their idol. So they had to knock her out to escape. Yeah. The Wolf Brothers, now reunited, followed their rogue mother far into the desert to her hideaway. Yeah, so literally, uh, literally they're going to Arizona. I completely called it. <clears throat> Alright, cool. I said in episode 4's recording that I really don't think most if not all the choices have really meant anything in the grand scheme of things but i we've still got one episode to go so maybe now we'll finally get culminated at the end of the game like i've stated before uh i have not watched any of this game and we've already jumped seven weeks forward but yeah i have not watched any of this game in any of the t downtime between when i finished life is strange one for project pc the end of project pc i haven't seen a video of this game i don't know anything about it so, yeah, I've been really good because, like I've said before, Life is Strange is a series that needs to be experienced for the first time. That's what you're going to get the most enjoyment and excitement out of it, in my opinion. But like I've said before, I know it's, it's not really the right thing to do to compare it to the first game. But with the references to the first game being all over the place in this game, whether direct or indirect, it is hard not to think about it and compare the two and I think even after this last episode I can see myself saying that the first one is much better but I do love hey. the Diaz brothers wake up Sean they are they are Dude, two very on. persevering and courageous what? dudes and they've been through some shit and they time is it come through it all get up and it's very it's admirable so to me beautiful. check it out Look at this massive crevasse. <laughs> <laughs> so? Yeah, okay. 
Good call. So I'm guessing they're still going to try and go to Mexico because that was the grand plan. Although I don't know why they would want to leave me. You know, because if it's where their their mom's hideout, as it were, then, you know, they're with the mother. Is your eye okay? Yeah. It just itches. It's okay, Nano. I... Promise. Aww. Yeah. Uh, okay. Aww. I love you. No matter what happens, you hear me? Yeah, I love you too. No. Ow! 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 Always. Damn right. So, are you still having those bad dreams? You know, about Lisbeth? Yeah. Yeah. Sometimes, I feel like she's around, coming after me. It's scary. Very bad, dude. Dude, I bet she's having nightmares about you. Hmm. Yeah, but she's still out there. Somewhere. We did the right thing, little dude. Don't worry Freaks about it. Freaks me out. I know what you're saying, but we're good. Listen, we're far away from her, okay? We're yep. together again. Yeah. Safe. Hope so. Sean. Are we criminals now? Um... No. I don't think they are. I think, like, like I said in the last episode, I think because there's no real evidence linking them to the, the, the murder of the cop, you know, there's no real anything like giving them. I don't think they are. I think it's misunderstood, but apparently they want to detain Sean for whatever reason. Even though there's no evidence of that. No way. We did exactly what we had to. Like I said, I think the, the, cops the only us, thing... We'll be judged for what we did. That's for sure. I think, I think the only reason yeah. that it is how it is is because he ran. You know, he didn't stay well, and explain. We're almost at the border. Although there isn't much to explain without saying, Oh my I like brother has this crazy power. But... We'll have to leave soon. I know. I'm sorry, yeah. Anano. Sean, I know it's been a long time. Can you tell me the rest of the wolf story? Oh. Yeah. I can tell you. <sighs> been forever since we left off. Wait. Mm -hmm. All right. Too long. Hmm. Let's see. Oh, yeah. Okay. So, thanks to their mama wolf, the wolf brothers barely escaped from the coyote cult. She led them to her secret lair, yeah. deep in the red desert. The wolf brothers rested for a while, but at some point, they'd have to continue their journey south. They were closer than ever to their father's land, but between them and their destination, Lied. A mighty fire unicorn. <laughs> <laughs> but she's nice, so they become friends. Fair enough. <laughs> um, excuse me, who's telling the story? I'll let Daniel are. have his input. But it's my story too, right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Okay then, so what happens next? They they arrive in Mexico, but the country is rampaged by goblins. <laughs> Together, the wolves He's and the still Daniel. to slay them. I love and it. Become heroes. <laughs> He's still the Daniel. The forgives them, and all their friends come to Mexico to celebrate. 
<laughs> that would be great. Yeah. Sounds pretty good, and I know. Yeah. Let's pack this shit up and head back to town. Gotta clean up our stuff before we leave. And this place is too pretty. I hope we can go watch the stars again. Mom said there's a moon eclipse coming up soon. <laughs> oh, man. I'm in for that. This place is cool. I could just move here. Hey, I can help. Just tell me what you want to put in there. You are the man. <laughs> Pretty useless with the crazy moonlight we had. <laughs> I know, right? But it scares the coyotes away. Activate flashlight. On the way. So I'm guessing there's going to be no explanation as to why Daniel has Yo, his powers. Yo, Captain Can, can you take these away? Sure. Perfect formation. Hmm. Let's clean up this mess. Not if it cleans up by itself. <laughs> Stop, Daniel. Can't catch it, huh? No shit. <laughs> now cut it out. Jeez. You're no fun. Nothing of his fun, Sean. I swear Dad had that same book in the garage. Yeah. I think he did. Convenient. Why did he never show it to us? Maybe it reminded him of Mom too much. Oh. Yeah. Right. Oh, I should have drawn. Never mind. Well, let's hit the trail, cowboy. I only saw the draw at the last second. I can always go back and uh, get the collectibles I missed in a, like another run of the game, so it's no big deal. Huh? What are you doing? What the fuck, dude? Don't do that. What's wrong? Stop messing with it, man. Yeah, you're right. Sorry, little guy. Don't get eaten by eagles. Aww. Do eagles eat scorpions? No idea. <laughs> cool. Let's go. Cool. <laughs> I can see what um, I can see what he was trying to do there. That makes sense. I wish we saw more falling stars, or any. <laughs> Hey, we saw the Milky Way, dude. How cool is that? Yeah, that's true. And Mars. Mars. That was so cool. Oh, yeah. Arthur and Stanley let us use the telescope. <laughs> yeah. These so, guys are real cool. So yeah, there's a bunch of um There's a bunch of other people here. Didn't Joanne will let me help her with her sculpture when we get back? Hell so. yeah. You're like the magic assistant. It's nice to be able to use my power out here. Not... Yeah, he's got... Oh, so yeah. he's got free reign. Karen was right. They're all cool with it. Mom doesn't say much about my power. Why do you think? She's... Um, confused. Yeah. Like, what do you mean? She's my mom. Well, you know... I mean... She hasn't seen you for years. Yeah. Not sure she can deal with all of this at the same time. Yeah. Huh. It must be weird for her. <laughs> I hear you. Oh, I didn't know I was gonna keep talking when we jumped down. Hey. Need help getting down? Dude, I got this. <laughs> Fair enough. Uh, C. All Easy right. peasy. Until you fall on your ass. <laughs> yeah, but I didn't. That's fair. He didn't. Hey, 
You know who I'd see having a trailer out here? <laughs> who? <laughs> Brody. He'd love it. Like, yeah. he should have his own radio station and everything. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. I agree with that. <laughs> Looks like oh. a job for our local super psychic boy. Looks like a job oh. for our local super psychic boy. Do your thing, Daniel. Do your thing. So, maybe you can help us get out of here? <laughs> mm, I'll, I'll try. Think about it. <laughs> Step back. Be super careful. Yeah. They weren't there, but then we passed them, though. What the hell? Whoa. That's one way of doing it. There you go. I hope it's okay. <laughs> nice, Should be man. the rocks. The rocks were cool. Well, at least we got to uh, see the uh, opening title in the first within the first ten minutes. <laughs> that makes a change. Hey, I'm gonna go see what Joanne is doing. <laughs> go for it. Fair enough. I have to bring back the telescope to Stanley and Arthur. Went to town for weekly supplies. Some pancakes left in the kitchen? <laughs> hmm. Back soon. Fair enough. Daniel, you copy? Yes, I read you. 10 4. I have a hmm. pancake alert in the kitchen. Repeat. Pancake alert. <laughs> Whatever. Joanne has waffles. <laughs> Over and out. Ten four. Waffles. No flying pancakes today. <laughs> Either Karen was desperate for a job, or she loved working with kids. <laughs> Karen has been camping in her own house since we arrived. Makes sense. Good picture. Looks like they all finally found their home. Oh, is this, um... What's this group? I, I don't really recognize any of them. Karen looks so young and fragile on this picture. Huh. Hard times. Maggie and Karen, the summer of 2011. Jacob's lady. I'm so glad Jacob and his sister are doing okay. Oh, it's a new one. deserve some peace. Sorry I didn't write to you sooner, but this was the first time I've had a chance to relax after we got out of Haven Point. Thanks to you and your brother. Thanks to you and your brother. I still can't believe it really happened. So bizarre. Sarah and I do miss our parents, but we're not ready to let them know where we are yet. We will figure it out later. But the money you gave me, I could pay a month's rent in advance for a room in a small beach town across the coast, on the coast. Ha. Huh. Sarah Lee loves it. She's much better now thanks to the antibiotics. We're doing great. The most important thing is that me and my sister, just like you and your brother, we're lucky to have each other and we're so blessed we both came our way. I'm trying to track down our hamlet crew, so I'll keep you posted. Hope everybody is okay after that night on the farm. Aww. 
Oh crap. Had no clue there was a network of seed pirates. Huh. Karen takes on some small piece works for a living. <laughs> Must pay better than poetry. Huh. Brody's so good at describing painful situations. And seeing the good into it. I saw a murder before this year. I was telling her to leave me and fuck alone. And I was done with the whole bullshit family. My real family were the strangers on the road who became friends. Now my family who became strangers. I adopted all the online connections I made around the world and all those wandering souls that I would encounter on my journeys ahead. You would be reading about them right now, except the next time I saw my mother, she was in hospice care and I go to her home. Her body, light and frail as a web, holding my hand telling me she was sorry about everything that kept us apart for most of my adult life. Damn. And all the years of just like that. I just wasn't mad anymore. I didn't know it would be so easy or so hard for me to make the past didn't happen and that I wasn't responsible in my own way. I used to tell me I was like a fake liberal. <laughs> Speaking of hope, given the sad state of this nation, I've been thinking. I'm also familiar with places I can tell from new stories from like Canada or Mexico. Ah, <laughs> yeah. I wonder why he wants to head there. Yeah, I ghosted her. But so glad to see Lila's back. Thanks for the flowers, I cried. Assholes. Lila's back. <laughs> I hope nobody's mad I've been out of touch. Rain needed a timeout. Yes, it can happen to me too. People were such pussies about mental health. Just talk and take care of each other, for fuck's sake. <laughs> Oops. Prody's so good. Yeah, I ghosted her. But so glad to see Lila's back. Yeah, but we had to. Couldn't get her involved and get her in trouble. <sighs> Gotta keep my eye lube handy. <laughs> glad I don't need it as much. No. <laughs> she changed my diapers, but... It feels kind of awkward to be here. <laughs> no. Check on down, you'll bring this curse up back to our day. Karen doesn't even like to leave this place just to go shopping. Hmm. <laughs> She's really good at rewriting her own life. This one's pretty intense. Hmm. I think I get it. Crops. Karen practices what she preaches. She barters with her food. Huh. Not money. Excuse me, water boy. <laughs> Did you remember to feed the crops? Grow stuff like she can. Uh, maybe in Mexico. Oh, yeah. We can grow a lot of stuff there. I'm getting vibes of the junkyard right now. Louis cars? Gotta find this Arthur. <laughs> Arthur and Stanley probably want their telescope back. Jones RV. It looks glorious, but it doesn't help you. Karen and Joanne spend evenings playing and chatting. <laughs> kind of like me and Lila. Back in the day. Like in your hand? Yeah. It titrals in my fingers. All over. There we go. Morning, Sean. Morning, guys. 
Hey, what's up? Morning, Sean. Join us. Have a seat. Okay. More talking. Hey, just in time for our special desert brew. And dust free. Thanks. So much. Sean, it's too early to be so awake. No kidding. Hey, how was your sleepover in the canyon? <sighs> Amazing. We watched the sunrise. Daniel loved it too. That's my favorite view out here. It's like ancient times, hmm. but it never gets old. Unlike us, darling. Yeah. I can you'll be here long after we're gone. Hope you looked up. We did. Thanks for hooking us up. <laughs> Anytime. Even my daughter Becky loves to stargaze when she visits us. Aww. That's the only way to get Arthur to camp now. Becky is the real astronomer in the family. Wonder where she got this. From her mom, probably. Yeah. Hope you guys get to meet Becky. We'll be leaving soon. She does this a lot. Does she come visiting often? Not as much as I'd want. Can't really blame her. Yeah. But you know, well, some parts of the year, this place is full of friends and family. Christmas, for example. So... Don't you ever get bored? Being out here is a big change. We do sometimes. We're in a desert. Oh, I miss the parks, cafes, shopping. Hmm. But this place is something else. And we feel safe out here. Yeah. If you could have That's seen me as a family man a few years ago, I had everything but nothing. Now I have nothing but everything. Thanks to this one. Aww. After we got together, we both had serious breakdowns. Mm -hmm. Then we got the hell out of the Bay Area. Huh. Better. I hear that. I'm just so fucking tired I one of day. I hope me and Daniel find our own way. The Bay Area, Maybe, huh? People come here to reset their life. Become the person they want to be. Or used mm. to be. You're smart. You'll figure out your next direction. Yeah. Right, Gramps? Speak for yourself, Grandpa. <laughs> My body might be 59, but I'm 25. <laughs> uh-huh. I'll remember that on the next hike. Uh, I'm gonna see what Daniel's up to. Aw. Thanks for the desert, brew. <laughs> These two remind me of Claire and Steve. Hey, Sean. What were you doing at Arthur and Stanley's place? You're a little too young to be stalking me, dude. Um, you know what? I saw them kissing the other day. Kinda weird. It's not weird. You know it's actually normal for people in love to kiss, right? I know. I just mean, they're really cute together. Aww. I hope somebody cares about me like that when I get old. Hey! Artist, come by Joanne's place. We're making wild sculptures. I can Hold see up. you, dude. I'll be over in a minute. I'm looking right at you. <laughs> Aw. What's up, Joanne? See for yourself. Man, check this out. Okay, so Daniel. Cool with it. Let's take a little break. Got I it. I like that. That child is something special. Yeah. I hear this one a lot. Don't worry. Hmm. Mm. Yeah, I bet. <laughs> Even without the power. But you have your own talent, Sean. I'm dead serious. Just doodles. <laughs> I don't know. It's just doodles and shit. No big <laughs> deal. Yeah. I thought my sculptures were shit, too, compared to all the dope stuff that was being done. But every artist is fucking unique, Sean. Yeah. We all got something to bring to the world. So why are you all the way out here now? <laughs> Easy. I started selling my work for good money, and as soon as I did, Everyone turned into smiling sharks. I can imagine Listen, that, yeah. if you want to be an artist, you will be. It's not always easy, but in the end, 
It's pretty fucking cool. Hmm. Speaking of, do you mind giving me a hand here? Oh, uh, I don't know if I can. Yes, you can. I just need your input, okay? <laughs> 